Real life, real stories, life lessons with Esther Joseph. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today's topic is going to be about friends, but before we get into that, let's just, let's just quickly pray. Father God, we thank you for this afternoon. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this life. We cover the life in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. So, today I want to talk to you guys about friends. What does the Bible say about friends? But before we go into the Bible, I just want to tell you my experience um, before I got to know Christ and later on when I got to know Christ as well, my experience with friends. Um, so basically, um, as you're growing up, you've got friends that, you know, you grow up, you've got friends and then there's friends and then there's real friends. So, um, my thing is when, before I knew Christ, I was like wanting to be with the people, wanting to hang around with people that, you know, um, you got a name for yourself, you got, you know, something going um how could i put it like and also like the kind of person that i was then like well known and obviously i attracted those kind of people as well because obviously you know i i was that it person as well that's the word i want to use the it person so what we tend to do we want to be around people that are the it person the bad boy or you know someone has got something going for themselves but um really and truly when you're in that stage in your life you know, before you meet Christ and you're just doing you, you just like you, you, you're, you're getting into relationships because of your own motives. And, you know, you're being also it's a manipulation because obviously you're going into it for whatever reasons that's going to benefit you. So, you know, and then from what I can even remember as well, I had friends like will be around me because of my status or I had friends around me that, like, you know, they just want to calm, use and abuse. And then um, I had friends around me that, you know, the ones that were really, like, they really just liked you for who you are. But you didn't draw it to those kind of people, friends. You always want to be with the ones that, you know, that you, at that time I thought, yeah, they're my friends. Because we're going out, we're drinking, we're, you know, we're fabulous. Like, you know, that, that life. But really and truly when i look back now it's the ones that will tell you you're doing too much it's the ones that will tell you let's let's go for dinner or let's do this or let's do this with the kids you know they're the true friends they're the ones that want you to win in life not the friends that want you to be doing things that later on you're going to regret doing things that's going to make you look out of character yeah doing things that you know that okay like, everybody goes through it in life, but I'm just saying that your friends, check your circles, check your friends, because I had a really, like, up and down, like, you know, roller coaster with friends, you know, like, um, the fast life, the fast, like, you want, the, you want a taste of that fast life, but what comes with it, you know, is what you can't sustain, especially if you don't have God, you know. So um, I look back on both of my, like my times of my friends then and my friends now. My friends now, um, they push me into purpose. They, they speak it, me into what God wants um, me to be doing right now into my life. You know, they speak into my children's life. Like there's, there's different kind of friends. When you're in the world, you're going for these, um, you're going for the worldly things, how someone looks, what someone has what someone's connected to, um, you know, their status, their Instagram, their this, that, you know, when you're in a world, you really do a lot of homework to hang around with people. But then when you have a relationship with God, it's like, you're not looking for those kind of what the person does or what the person doesn't do. Or, you know, it's it like in God's kingdom, you're more likely to be the blessing. You want to be the blessing. Like now the way I live, I want to be the blessing. I don't want to take from people. I want to be the one that says, here, you know, I've, I've done this for you. Not even I've done it, just you do it. And then, you know, it's, it's between you and God. But whereas when I was in a world that the friends that I had, it was just like, it's just too fast. Like, and then I look back now and, and I'm not even none of them's friends. Seriously, I, I, I can think of like two people right now, but you know, it's just, 
they weren't good for my character they wasn't good for god's purpose and that's why god had to even take everybody away because it's not what his original plan was for me you know but i went through it because if i didn't go for it i won't be talking to you guys about it today but really check your friends friends are really important because i always say to my ch my children if the person's not like with you when you don't have nothing that's not a real friend if the person's always want to be around like when you've got paid or like when it's good time or you guys are doing, like you know when something's good's always happening if that person wants to be around for the good time that's not your friend that's not your friend and especially if you got friends that are trying to push you onto okay i.e smoking i.e drugs i.e um sex you know because as, as i said to you before i'm a christian so i believe in like sex is for marriage that's what i believe in you know and that's what the bible tells me so i always tell my children i just tell them about certain things to be wary of about friends like you know and like with now now your your generation now friends you just become friends so quickly like you don't even like you know test the spirit or anything you just mom this is my friend this is my friend but what i'm trying to say is really study your friends because everyone that i thought when i was in the world was my friend was not really my friend you know it was like um the bible says in um first corinthians um 15 33 that um bad company corrupts good character so you know when I was in the world, I would do things like, you know, drinking too much, like just having too much fun and like you're with these um, circle of people, but your character is messing up your character. Yeah. Because you've, um, you've, um, yoked yourself with people that really you have no business hanging around with, but because you want that life, you're looking on people and you're like, yeah, I want to be that. I want to be a part of that. But really and truly, are they really your friends? you know and are you doing things because everybody else is doing it um, i've posted this on, on social media so this one will post this on social media you know so like nowadays as well you guys you say that your friends because i do a lot of mentoring with um, young girls what i've seen is they say that they're friends but then you're competing with your so-called friends and like if you if it even comes to that that you guys are competing like you're not friends you're not friends because a real friend you won't be competing with your friend. You'll be lifting your friend. So that that's that's what I've come in to talk to about friends as well. And pick pick them right. You shouldn't have a friend where the friend just wants to be around you for what you have, good times, and that you know. And then when you have your off days, this person's not around, you know. And I always encourage my children as well not to get in groups like bad groups. You know, because all it takes is one person to come and start um, taking you off your focus for what you're supposed to be doing. And then before you know it, you're, you're, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Say like, say if you was like a kid that was going to college and then your mum wanted you to go from college to university and then you start hanging around with this person, that dream's gone out the window. Yeah, because that person's come and took your focus. You're doing the things that the, that person's doing. Like, you're just off focus, you know? And, um, yeah, just base your fr friendships on, on real friends, not friends that are going to just come and use you. Because I see that there's a lot of using as well going on now in um, this generation. I see, like, a lot of young girls. I can only talk from a, the girls' point of view because, you know, I mentor a lot of young girls. So I can only talk from the girls' point of view that they get friends and then if something better comes along that... that they'll drop that friend and then go to a next friend and then that friend feels like oh but i've been there and she feels used and abused and all because like you're not in christ you didn't you didn't like ask god about this relationship it's not everybody that comes on your journey that you should let into your life into your space so that's a lot of mentoring that i even do with these young girls you know but um yeah choose your friends right it can easily rub off it can easily rub off like you, you that if you know what you want in your life if you know what morals your parents have put in you then in, then for you to bring somebody into your life that's going to come distract you take your focus and then before you know it you're just like how did i get like this 
So basically this live was to choose your friends right. But like have time to choose your friends right. Don't just rush into relationships, whether it's a boyfriend, whether it's um you know, friends, just friends. Just make sure you're you're choosing your circles, you're choosing your friends right. So that's what I jumped in to say. All right, have a blessed day. It's to Joseph. Bye. <laughs>